Stand by. John Hoyt here, Shooting Sports Channel. I'm here at the uh, Wildcat Creek Conservation Club, uh, just outside of Lafayette, and uh, doing something a little bit different today. I'm uh, shooting my uh, pistol and my camera. <laughs> and uh, so far it's been a uh, slow match. We had some hiccups. And the uh, seems like all of the uh, courses today want you to run backwards, which makes things uh, a bit of a challenge. But so far it's been pretty fun, weather's nice, so why don't you guys take a look? everyone so I don't feel too bad with having uh, uh, hit factors in the high threes low fours I could be doing a lot worse so at least I can say that so far it's been pretty fun once we got the uh, couple hiccups figured out in the first uh, first course they've actually been kind of flying through so I think we just have uh, one more course and then a qualifier and then we're done so I think we've got about another hour to go here uh, but it's been a good time. So hey, we're here with uh, Drew Heath, match director today, and uh, the, the big news is you DQ'd at your own match. I did, yes, my very first DQ. So what happened? Um, I was making ready, and I had a holster malfunction, mm -hmm. so I loaded the gun, I prepped my stage, and I went to reholster the gun, and I think because various reasons, but 
I wasn't, I didn't kind of get my normal routine. Mm -hmm. And when I made my plan a little bit late, I think uh, I got out of whack, checked it, holstered up. And what I normally do to confirm because of the type of holster, it's a race holster that is sure. prone to that type of malfunction. But I holstered it up and I didn't confirm it by, okay. normally I'll grip the gun and sure. kind of press against my thumb to make sure it's seated. Yeah. I didn't for whatever reason. And so I got into the ready position and when the buzzer went off, I moved and it just slid right out of the holster. Was holster. this the stage you had to sit on? No, it was actually okay. the next stage. It was okay. um, hands touching the barrel. So okay. my hands are on the barrel. Gotcha. I yeah. kind of moved my hips and it slid right out of the holster and plugged into the ground. Yeah. And anytime you drop a loaded gun, it's an immediate DQ. Sure. So uh, tell me a little bit about just what goes into uh, planning a match like this and, and running it. Um, I mean, there's actually a pretty good amount that goes into it and getting good volunteers to help is a big, mm -hmm. is a big plus. So to set a match like this up, we have six good stages and each stage probably have between five and 10 walls that needed to be set up. And yeah. then beyond that, you gotta have fault lines and target stands and targets and sticks and everything else and steel, steel plates. Um, you gotta have people that come out and are willing to help you take it out of the, mm -hmm. out of the warehouse or barn where we keep it, move it out to where it is, set sure. it all up. On top of that, you gotta have people designing the stages to make sure it's something fun people wanna shoot. Mm -hmm. um, beyond all that, then you gotta you get registration going, you get the stages in the ground, you get registration going, then you gotta organize the squads right. and make sure you have people who are familiar with the game um, out with each squad who are able to run the squads through the, through the match. And after that, you know, you gotta let everybody shoot through. Hopefully everybody has a great time yeah. and does well and doesn't get DQ'd. And then you gotta gather up everything, get everything put yeah. back away, submit the scores, and then notify everybody how they did. So, what, what, What's in the future for you as a shooter? Um, this spring has been light for me for family reasons and, mm -hmm. and kids stuff. Yeah, but I'm moving in, starting in with the Michigan State Championships coming up this okay. month. So that's gonna be my first jump into it. And then after that, I've got several major championships coming up in, uh, obviously in Indiana. Mm -hmm. um, headed up to Michigan for the Area 5 Championship again, and Illinois. Uh, I won Illinois last year in limited, so I'm hoping to be able to do that oh. again. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, then down to National Championship in Florida in, okay. in October, which I'm really looking forward to that. I love yeah. going down to Florida, it's a good time. Sure. Alrighty, well, uh, thanks for the fun match. And yeah. It was a pleasure. Absolutely, thanks. Yep.